Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Trasso and welcome back to my Crevis playthrough slash tutorial. Sorry for the longer break you had between the previous video and this one and apologies again for a long break that is likely going to happen between this video and the next one or maybe hopefully the one afterwards. You see, lately I wasn't able, I just didn't have the capabilities of recording videos and in the near future I will not have those again. Also, right now, I just realized I bit myself and it hurts. But anyway, that actually is unimportant and not related whatsoever. The point being is that in the near future, I'm probably, unfortunately, <coughs> be unable to record much. But hopefully, I will record like two videos today. If I am able to, that would be great. And this will be enough uh, to last you until I return in my full glory, which means not really glory at all. Anyway, let us continue, shall we? I've got a battle to win and a home system to conquer. Let's go ahead and do just that. Decisive victory and the last battle is mine. Only two more home systems to go. That was easy. I'm gonna keep this fleet in here for one more time just to see if any cell phones show up. Let's in fact make sure that this is or is not the case because i'd like to know what's coming and i did not even see this system before so it's good that i checked now i did notice something that's somewhat worrisome but also it pushes me to make a decision you see if you look at the systems i currently have in my empire you'll see that actually i don't really have a lot of food aside from the few systems which are not depleted yet i mean this is to be expected i guess but at the same time, oh poor Trireem, the army really got hit hard after its days of glory are over. Holy bows, you are dying really quickly. That was to be expected at all, I suppose. Anyway, let's salvage some population that they care about, I suppose. And as they do that, I'm gonna drink some tea. Oh. Any other tea cannons? Yeah, two more, good. I'm sending them to the uncolonized, or rather, unpopulated system of Oya. That's did the same thing in Mutation and Essa, because those systems also have a similar problem with everybody dying, since suddenly we ran out of food when all of our plants became depleted. It's a common problem in late game Curry Vampire. Everything, everybody starts to die, and there isn't really any proper reason to avoid it, unless you play, play it for the long game from the start, which, as I said, is not the optimal way to play the Cravers. But what I can do... To somewhat mitigate the issue is actually Hello Hide Red Sang. I was thinking about never actually using it, but guess what? I might actually use it. I cannot use it twice uh, on the same improvement, which is actually maybe good because I probably shouldn't try to. But uh, I'm gonna use Super Spots as well, since I actually have a pretty good uh, income of them, and I'll be able to use them at a somewhat, somewhat reliable rate and actually able to, you know install this upgrade modernization, which it will increase the food production even further, allowing my sisters not to completely starve after the plants are all depleted, which is nice. I currently cannot make a single one of these, but if I buy out some super spots, I might be able to, and I might as well, it's not like I have much else to do with all this money I have. I will buy out some Oracalcics and Quadrinix just to have it, it's better to have it than not. You know, just, you never know. I, I meant to buy two at a time, but whatever. I suppose it doesn't matter. And uh, mm. this tea, I'm drinking way too much of it, way too quickly, but whatever. Let's have a quick look at the luxuries and super spots. They are kind of pricey, but I suppose uh, it's fine. I can't buy all. Oh no, I can't buy all of them. That was that's good to know though. Let's buy six thousand ish worth of them, maybe five, five point four, five point nine. That's a good amount. That's not really a good amount, but this should be uh, uh, good enough to do for us. That's improve Ibony, which is something I wanted to do anyway. So, Ibony is going to have better ships, and it's going to have better modernization, preventing the system from starving to death as well, which is going to be lovely. How are you balanced that in terms of Craver population? Uh, it could be better. I want to preserve this ash for a little bit longer, so let's swap out a Craver over there. 23, 20, 26, 20, that's, that's as good as we're gonna get, I think. Yeah, alright, let's keep it this way. Good. Let's drink some more tea. Now, hmm. Some population needs to have its luxuries reactivated, we're gonna deal with that, and after that we're gonna deal with some laws as well. I think I care about Pulsos more than the Vodiani, but Vodiani are awesome. And they're more self-sustaining, I suppose, as well. Actually, they're not what I'm even talking about, they are definitely not, but either way, I think I should be able to boost all of them. I'm not gonna boost Sophos because they take super spots, which I wanna 
uh, save up for myself. I'm gonna boost everybody else though with other resources I really don't care about. And this should be fine. Now as for the laws, I can reenact the Spores of War Act for some time still, but I don't think there's actually anything I am really... like any threat that would actually give me a lot of resources. So I don't think this is necessary. I'm going to save up our influence for the time being and just enact Brains of a Box. And we still have a good amount of money income, that's good. And this is going to increase our science gain. Now, as I said, I don't... I'm trying to avoid the game of science victory, and now it's too late anyway, there's probably no way I could achieve science victory before the end of the game. Too many of my sisters are depleted, my science production is down in the gutters, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Maybe I would, actually, maybe, now that I think about it, I could potentially do it, but I really don't want to. So, anyway, you just says, ah... Uh... Yeah, okay, good, you don't have any movement left, so I have a very good reason to keep you here. This system just improve it. I can't believe Sophos didn't have great to shoot the laboratories, that's weird. Oh well. Mac of popping it is, I suppose. And do some other improvements like coin exchange on that planet. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go for some extra uh, influence. Yeah, that's the name of it. That'll that's gonna be good. And you can give me more science, that's fine by me. Uh -huh. Let's see. Another HQ. I think I already queued it up somewhere off camera. And what's that? That's truce in return for manpower. I wait. Are they offering? They are offering manpower. That's actually kind of tempting, especially since I already got what I wanted from this battle of them. And it's not like I get any extra bonuses from. I mean, I do get bonuses to approve from being at war with them. But look, it doesn't matter. The penalties are way too big anyway. So I think I can accept that. Worst case scenario, I can always redeclare war on them, but I don't think I will need to. I'm somewhat afraid they're gonna close their borders on me. But with my types of hero, it won't really matter. I can already warp all the way to Zuban or whatever it's called, and just skip their systems altogether. I don't need to be in their systems, I think. The problem is that I could be wrong, but by assigning a, a truce, I would be able to make this fleet move away from Hidden right now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is way too tempting. Let's sign this deal and be a nice guy for a change. That's gonna be nice. Also, you guys, you're gonna die because I hate you. I don't quite remember why anymore. I mean, I do think I remember, but I don't remember it well enough is what I'm trying to say. What are you using? Energy. Close range energy as well. All right, then I guess we're gonna go for barrage fire. Thank you very much. And there's no need to watch the four of the last and fallen ships, really. They even run away, the cowards, and now their sister is going to die. Probably, but not just yet. Yeah, this um, fleet doesn't really have much of an army, does it? That's fine, it can just sit there. I don't really care one way or another. You, I can upgrade. I don't remember what it would do to you, so I'm kind of afraid to click this button, but I suppose I'm gonna do it and declare a battle on you as well. Well, that was an easy victory, and some extra influence gained from this battle, which I don't really care about that much, but I suppose it's still nice. A scavenger. Not sure what to do with you, but it's nice that I have you, I suppose. So let's let's send us some probes, why not? And another one over here. Maybe it will reach the system, but I don't think it will. Let's check out the last few fleets that I have that are ready with the oil. I thought you are... Oh, yeah. You look the same as the other here. That's why I got the two of you, you know, mixed up. I don't need to send him to over here -ish. This system is pacified. Over here there is a little cruiser insurgents. I can send him to deal with the cruisers and then try to see if I can go all the way here, which would be nice. Alright, cruisers first. Shouldn't be a very long... Oh! You're not the super speedy hero? Oh yeah, you're not the super speedy hero. <sighs> that was a long sigh, wasn't it? Do I have the engines upgrade, by the way? Oh... Hmm, yes I do. I could use more of them now that I think about it. And I do have the antimatter to support that upgrade as well. I have a pretty good income of antimatter, so yeah, I'll definitely go for that. I'm not gonna install any we extra weapons on those repairs or protections, because in battles I'm already impossible to defeat. I've got annihilators researched and uh, prepared to fight. Like, if anybody wants to kill me, I wish them luck, because they're really gonna need it. So in fact, let's give you another bit of extra speed, and that's, now that's a lot of Hyperion per unit. Maybe a bit much, but then again, that's a very big increase in efficiency. Now, you know what? I'll just keep it the way it was. 
because I want to have more fast reapers than a few of those. All right, it, that still costs a lot, but it should be okay, -ish, I suppose. Let's apply the design. In fact, you know what? Those re this repair, I'm gonna save a bit of Hyperion by giving him the regular engine instead of the uh, uh, Hyperion one, and then I'll give him even more speed. Uh, that's a lot. Extra four Hyperion per ship. Am I comfortable with that? How much am I gaining per turn? You're not gonna tell me, are you? You're not. Let's uh, apply this and we can just roll the upgrades one by one. We don't need to do them all at once. Let's not be stupid about this. All right. Dear scavengers, make your way over to Seafoods just in case I can't see enough stuff. And then I'll unleash another volley of probes. Which is going to be lovely. You fight. And Q, I suppose. Well, we can we might as well tattoo. It doesn't matter. It's an invader ship. And they have a carrier. So, with that out of the way, another thing I could do, and I'm thinking about it, is sign a peace treaty with the United Empire. I don't need to fight them anymore, and I don't think I need to pass through the territory. And by sending a peace treaty with them, or rather a truce, I suppose, I'll make it so that it's impossible for them to invade and retake their home system, which is rather important, mind you. This is why I have this fleet still there. So there's that. Also, I don't think this will be my victory notification, I think it's the AIs. Let's see... That's mine, and... Oh. Um... Did they capture Wonder? Wait a second, that shouldn't... I know I got the technology, but no, that shouldn't pop up unless they change that with this patch. Uh, let's... Let's check. Did... Where is was working on a Wonder? No, because then I'll get notifications that they have a Wonder. Colony Base, Galactic HQ... I don't see a wonder. That must be a bug, right? I mean, I know I have access to wonders, but I haven't made a single one. Unless this thing gave me a wonder? No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what happened. Why am I close to... Let's have a quick look, see if the game will tell me that. Why am I close to wonder victory? Where are you? Wonder first, yeah. I have zero out of three. Okay, I guess just by unlocking the tech, now it gives it this notification, which is stupid, because unlocking the stage doesn't really... I mean, I suppose it's a system of early warning, which is maybe why they decided to change it, because they were afraid that people can snipe Wonder Victory too easily. I don't think so. Although, yeah, you know what? It was possible earlier. If you were to queue up all the Wonders at the same time and make them at the same rate, yeah, it makes sense to give a warning when somebody unlocks this era. I think that actually it should give you a warning when you start working on a wonder rather than when you unlock the technology. Like, the moment you click on a wonder, it should give everybody a warning that a wonder is being constructed and that's it. Because this thing gives nobody an idea. And, uh, you know, if it is tied to the era, as I think it is right now, and then it means nothing for the most part it will mean nothing because people can reach the fifth era and the empire development plan and not go for the wonder victory but in some cases people will reach that and then many times later they'll actually go and snap the wonder victory and everybody will forget about the whole thing and yeah this is rework but that's whatever at least i'm the one who's close to it i got 200 proto orchids too bad that you know reset using those is going to be a nightmare and to make it even worse, I don't think I have a source of them anywhere in my empire, so whatever. Load system secured. Load stone system secured, rather. Alright, cool. I don't really particularly care. My hero leveled up. You are the one that is not supposed to eat plants, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I mean, minus 10% on heroes is always something, I suppose, so you might as well have that. Uh, I don't think I have any other research left that I can give him if I remember things correctly. Yeah, I think you're out, buddy. Like, I can give him the ability to eat plants, but I don't want to eat the unformed plant system. I wanted to have this one system that I can rely on in case everything goes sour. So, yeah, have. Oh, wait, that was only one level up. Never mind. Oh, yeah, two, because I also got the other upgrade. Whatever. Good, we can now dismiss all of those things. Make my fleets move. You just, uh. Discover a curiosity. We never, you never know what this curiosity could be. It could be actually game-changing. I doubt it is, but it could be. It's improved plasma shooting. Completely useless, but it's nice to have, I suppose. Scavenger. You go for auto-explore. That's fine. 
There's a prowler. That's really random, but whatever. All right, United you know Empire. How desperate are you to sign a peace treaty? Because I would actually accept that right now. We are at war. Yes, we are. Test my patience contacting the Empire. All right, then I'm gonna. I guess I need to wreck you a bit harder before you give in. I'm not gonna try though. I don't feel like there's any need to do that. Uh, you just say uh, you just wait. And you ignore all of those people who just keep looking for a home system or a way to get to home system. Because that's rather important. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Frigate, nice. Battleships, what are they rocking? They're rocking projector weaponry. And some energy weaponry as well. That's interesting. What kind of mix is this? What do you think? I think the laser, uh... They have very little on shot, so... I guess this might mean be a missile laser combo. I need to land this percentage, those percentages a bit better, but since only recently I started mixing things, you know, around actually, I'm yet to actually land everything like this. And then they have some beams. I think they're rocking a mix of stuff. Maybe they didn't have time to retrofit since the patch hit. That is my guess. What are you doing? I don't know. I guess you're just going guarding Oyad because people always wanted to kill it. Which makes sense, admittedly. You just go ahead and use your abilities to kill things. See, I don't care. You are on your way there, that's nice. Is there anything for me to do? Sagnus actually needs some orders. How are you doing, Sagnus? You've got a subterranean curiosity to explore and... You don't have a lot of food. I can eat some people and have more food. I'm gonna eat some people. It's gonna be delicious. And then I guess I'm gonna take a subsidiary because there are super spots here that I actually do need. Which is strange to think about, me needing super spots, but I suppose sometimes, every now and again, you need a spot in your life. And that's what I'm gonna get. Alrighty then, you this, uh, I guess you can have microwave and evolved soils. Doesn't sound all that useful, I'll be entirely honest with you. Since the system is getting close to being maxed out anyway. Alrighty then, what else do we have? Abani working happily on whatever it's working on. As for research, I'm probably gonna go for power armor, but I am... Turned on, not turned on, what am I saying? Wow, that's the wrong phrase. I am considering Exavolt Beam Focus because I do have access to Arakakis. I could start mining it already and perhaps I'll have something to use it on later. Besides, I would be able to use distributed energy on some of my systems, but it's only extra 10 Fitzy. Most of my systems are already depleted or about to be depleted. It would only be useful on that ho uh, home wall system. What am I? Again, my mind is going into weird territory. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Anyway, it would only be useful in the Unfallen system and whatever home systems I can't carry in the near future, which there are not too many of them, right? But it will be useful, I'm not gonna deny that. But what I think would be more useful is power armor because that directly uh, increases my ability to produce stronger fleets. So I'm gonna go for that. Thank you very much. Or. Yeah, I like Palmo because it also gives me luxury resources. I was thinking about self mining. Self mining NPOs is actually better, I think. Because, first of all, it improves my science generation from just systems that have nothing to do, and I have a lot of these. And on systems, plants that are actually trying to make me some resources, well, self mining NPO is actually just a flat about better version of Mexit Quarter. Like, it's cheaper, sure, it's system wide, but more often than not, you don't need it to be system wide. And even then, it's, you know, it costs barely anything. So yeah, there is that. I Do I need to keep you here? I don't think I do. The problem is if I move this fleet away and I actually need to keep it here, then I have no contingency fleet to save battle from a possible invasion. That's the thing I'm worried about. Maybe the Sovereigns want to send a truce. Hmm. <coughs> My apologies. I was so surprised that they actually do. That I almost, you know, died. Holy boss. Let's see if they accept this tea. <coughs> tea? Wow, I should not look at uh, offers from sofas when I drink tea because they are more often uh, more surprising than not. And, uh, well, one day they're gonna respond to that. I'm curious when that day will come. In the meantime, do you have any fleets that I can still move? Well, you can kill somebody. So you might as well. Serena so killed, and there is also a regular fleet. And the someone's finally responded. Let's see what the response is. And it's... Oh, great. All right, that's good. So I don't have to worry about their house system being retaken 
buy the cell phones they are desperate enough to opt out of the war that I have nothing to worry about that's absolutely amazing uh, I can afford it I think yeah I'm not planning to make an annihilator this 10 or anything so yeah let's upgrade the repair to make this fleet a bit faster and let's have it fly over to Hydrus for the time being so that I can move this fleet over away from Hydrus, and I think Hydrus has enough defenses to save itself for a few turns. 18 tanks, ah, good enough. Yeah, it can handle itself for a few turns, and then a relief force is already on its way. So you can go to wherever you need to. I'm not sure where I need to send this fleet yet, though, because this might be a dead end. This might also be a dead end. But I need to send it somewhere, right? Uh, this is fairly close to wherever else I might need to go, so let's send it to Alio for the time being. And I'll keep it here, and from there it should be able to reach any other place with relative ease. That's my hope at any rate. So, with that out of the way, what else do we have? You are about to be jumped on by one of my fleets, which is also going to be close to relieving this system if necessary. Oh yeah, the I don't necessarily need this uh, fleet to be there, but that's fine. Also, somebody is reclaiming an Arc ship. Well, I um, guess I'm gonna let them do that because you cannot, uh, you don't have any more action points left. That's fine. Let's end the turn. Drink some more tea. Hopefully, try not to choke to death. That would be nice. Mm. Instead, the tea somehow got into my eyes, which is kind of surprising considering the fact that it was in the cup. And I was drinking it like normally, and I have glasses on. So the fact that it actually managed to uh, get into my eyeballs, onto my eyeballs, was rather surprising, if I may say so myself. People are dying everywhere. I got the Trade Cleaning Bureau, which is nice. This is going to give me a lot of stuff. You want a trust for free kind of dust. I hate you for whatever you did last time, so I'm gonna do a refuse. Oh, it was the thing another playthrough. Am I hating them for no reason? I might be, but I don't care, I'm still gonna refuse that. Just, you know, I feel like killing somebody. Because, you know, why not? Alright, let's increase the taxes to the maximum amount possible. 25% is good enough! And now AI is going to directly fund our war effort, which is lovely. It's going to allow us to buy out more things for the marketplace, if and when necessary. Let's move everybody. I'm an evil man, I know, I use taxes to my advantage. This is the most horrible thing ever. Let's lower his cost somewhat, and everybody else's as well, I suppose, and... Ah, uh, you shouldn't be here. But what are the enemy using? They are using missiles for the most part with a bit of... That's a bit of... Lasers, yes, because otherwise they wouldn't have 100% long range efficiency. So they are using a mix of lasers and missiles. All the way throughout the fleet looks like. Well, no, not quite, but almost. All right, that's good to know. Retreat if you have someone to retreat to. You didn't. Oh, well. I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much, does it? What? The boss? Oh, that's just a ship. I was really surprised by this icon for a second. All right. You keep going over there. Hopefully we'll stumble upon a home system of some kind sooner or later. And I discarded Planet Kairos. I don't really care about Planet Kairos, to me tell you honest with you. I don't need it to win the game. So, let's see, you, Siege Towers, I guess I can send it to Orm just to annoy the United Empire convinced to sign a peace treaty. Scavenger, you can- no, don't wait at 10, I don't need you to wait at 10, I need you to explore. Because maybe it will be able to find something cool, and there, uh, I'm glad I signed this peace treaty, because Sophos could have been a major annoyance, actually. As it turns out, they're not gonna be, which makes me rather happy. Now, you do the system, what do I give you? There isn't really anything I really care about. Let's give it more science production, that's gonna be fine. Albany is still working on its improvements. Host uh, just finished its stuff. I should have assigned a hero to the system, but then again, all of my heroes are pretty much max level anyway. You're besieged. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, by randoms. That doesn't really matter. I'm gonna deal with that at some point. But more importantly, you're losing food because of how everybody hates you. Sounds about right. Well, let's try to save a pulsars and send him to Oyad. And another pulses to save. And a Tikanan as well. That's lovely. I don't think I have another system where I have space for refugees. So, oh yeah, this is the only place where I can just dump my population into the end. That's oh, wait! Oh, you bastard! I have automated thingy here. Oh, didn't, don't, don't I? Wait, I don't? Why was there a level 3 thingy going on there? Then. Uh huh. Oh no, I do have an automation policy. 
So if I enact it again... Oh! You! That's why I don't use automation policies, because you are ruining my plan by making such an impro important improvement in such a uh, worthless piece of junk. Like, who cares about this plan? Nobody. It's not even being eaten. Actually, it is being eaten alive, but still. Even more point to just leave it be. That was... I, that's a good catch. I'm glad I noticed that, because that would have been bad. I was like, why is this improvement being made here? Because there's no reason it should be. Anyway, let's improve our whole system. It's our home system after all. It deserves to be better than other plants, even if it's completely depleted. As for you, dear says, do you have a cool ship in here? Yes, I do. So we might have to watch this battle if there is anything to watch. That is, what are you rocking? Long grid stuff for the most part. What am I rocking? Ah, uh, various mix of things. I forgot to do one thing before recording this video, and that is check what I equipped my analyzers with. But it was a mix of things, wasn't it? Well, they're using mostly long-range stuff, so I kind of want to get into their faces, but I'm also using long-range stuff, but they're using mostly, in fact, only projectiles, so Tato is going to work quite nicely. And this setup isn't the worst thing ever, but I certainly want there to be some ships to tank the damage in the middle flank, so let's make sure that this is actually the case. And you go over there, and the Annihilator can be in the middle flank. And let's fight it, and let's see what happens. They're probably gonna... Oh, yeah, they did run away. Okay. So it was completely meaningless all that happened over here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep this guy in here for one more extra turn, in case the enemy wants to do turn up again. You? Good, you discarded Corona. Nice. Let's set up some more probes first, though, and explore any curiosities that might be in here. Because you never know what you, can, what you might find. It might be an interesting thing. So let's see. I mean, a bit of red sign will never head. Extra. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Eternal Stanchion, thank you. My people might actually not all starve to death, which is amazing. Uh, other than that, not much, uh, not too many things that actually interest me. Six probes left. All right, let's send some more then. It looks like there might be systems around this area, but let's spread them out anyway. Is that? No, that's not a boulder of any kind. Okay. Actually, wait, are they unfallen over there to the south? I think they might be. I think they might be. I think that's what's happening. The only way for me to check is to go over there because I'm surprised that, unfall uh, that Riftborn, I mean, have a system here. I thought that Riftborn would be here, and this is uh, clearly Lumeris territory. So, let's... Uh, oh yeah, cross borders. That's what I was afraid of. I thought I don't need to move through the territory. Turns out I was wrong. Let's go to Phaeton real quick, move over there-ish, and then try to see if there is actually a Riftborn Empire down there to the south. As I predict there will be. In the meantime, is there anything else that requires my orders you? Really stuck on your probes as usual, and all my sisters are just giving me more signs because really I don't need them for anything now. Sure, I could make more fleets, but they won't really change anything at this point. I can fight you. I'm not sure if I wanna, but I might as well to give myself some extra stuff. So, uh, brains of a box can be abolished, I suppose, for one turn and can get an explosive war act again. And declare a fight on you. Civilian destroyed, that's lovely, I love killing civilians. And then let's watch this battle if it can be watched. They're rocking a mix, but mostly long grade, right? In that case, let's go ahead and tattoo this out and see how well they fare when I have a very big uh, defense bonus for dealing with missiles. Actually, this setup was meant for barrage fire, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. What was it meant for? I'm not too sure, actually. Maybe it was just a general setup. I think that's what it was. Either way, I think it's okay. My ships are still okay in the short range after all, and the enemy ships, I don't think they are. Yeah, they just die in short range. So it's fight and they might run away. They did they deploy everything in the middle flank? Oh, because they want to stay at long range, and that's probably the only battle card they had available at this point. And irradiation is actually going to be extremely annoying. Because they're going to limit my ability to invade systems considerably. That's a really good battle card for them to use. I'm very impressed. Also, this looks amazing. But I drank all of my No, I have some tea left, so I can still watch this. And drink, and feel like uh, Jean-Luc Picard. Which is how I want to feel like. And, oh, we're getting there from behind. This is lovely. 
Mm. All right, I'm officially out of tea. I could make some more, but frankly, this would be rather stupid. So, there we go. Ship started firing. That was a very weird delay there for a second. And, oh, that's a lot of missiles all around. Flank to everywhere, but it looks like the enemy ships are, well, slightly out of their league. It's kind of weird though, because it seems like they're not really exploding properly. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels like something's off, or is it just me? Maybe I'm, maybe it's just my own imagination, but yeah, it's like when my missiles hit the front part, it seems like the ship isn't taking damage, which is weird. Must be a bug or something. Oh well. I sadly do hear a lot of explosions though, but that is certainly a bug that's related to Riftborn ships. It basically makes it so that every time you hit it, something big explodes. Anyway, that's a lot of stuff I got, which is lovely. Extra science, extra dust, all of it very much, very much so useful and appreciated. More damage on fleet, thank you very much, and more speed. Oh yeah, you're... I thought you are a different thing than you are. Alright, well, I... Hmm. Why don't particularly need anything in particular. I don't think. Let's just make sure that is the case. Free absorption ship, blah blah blah. Damage on his own ship. I don't remember what his ship or her ship is rocking, but I might as well give her that so she's less useless, I suppose. What is it? Oh yeah, it's rocking some decent damage, I suppose. Might as well increase it somewhat. Even if not by much, but at least it's so a bit relevant, like a small ship would be. All right, let's uh, let's. Oh yeah, you have no more moving parts. Well then, let's unleash the probes because I think I need to do just that. I think I unleashed in them. Um, <laughs> this clutter is a bit too tight. I thought I had more probes for some reason. I misread the three. I thought it's a six. Don't know how, but it happened. Let's end the turn. Oh no, Hydrus doesn't want me to end the turn. What are you, Hydrus? Oh, you're the newly conquered system, aren't you? The one that I'm eating as quickly as humanly possible. Well, I suppose you can give me more science, because uh, there isn't really anything else you can give me. So just give me science. And end the turn. I suddenly felt a feel a little bit tired, I'm not sure why. I mean, it is night, technically speaking, but I shouldn't feel this way, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Huh. Whatever. Maybe it's... It, you know what? I know why this is. It must be the lack of oxygen. I have my windows closed this time around because it's actually a night and there are mosquitoes around and I don't want to get inside. And I don't have anything to prevent them from getting in once my, uh, you know, windows are open, which is an annoying oversight, but whatever. There isn't much I can do about it at this point in time. And I really, really don't want mosquitoes to be in my room. Like, you have no idea how much I hate mosquitoes. Actually, I probably do, because who doesn't hate mosquitoes? I mean, I know there are some people who don't hate mosquitoes. I'm not one of those people, though. I hate mosquitoes with a passion. If they went extinct, I would be happy. Don't care what would happen to ecology or whatever else. I just want them all to die. Like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. They might as well die. They are the biggest killer in the history of our race. I mean, not them, it's, uh, you know, the, all the diseases they are carrying, viruses and stuff, but nevertheless, because of mosquitoes, more humans die than because of anything else. If we, you know, consider the fact that them carrying diseases counts as them killing humans, which you might as well. I don't like mosquitoes, can you tell? Anyway, that's the home system, that's lovely. And the enemy just got in here just in time to prevent me from invading it. That's fine, I'm just gonna murder all those ships and stuff. And then I can start the besiegement and invasion process. How many troops do I have left? A lot! I might actually be able to take it all... Nah... Like, my troops are really strong, but not that strong. But the bombing can soften the enemy up, potentially. It didn't, but the enemy is almost dead because of how good my troops are. And after this system is taken over, I only have one more to go. Which is really exciting, isn't it? Alright, you just... I know I'm supposed to check a curiosity, I don't really care. You just fight around the fight, and I don't care about that either. And you keep looking for a home system, and you, this says, you should do the same. So, start going over to Korana, because I don't think that it's being protected by anybody, and then I'll send them on this chase for another home system. You sleep, and you guard for a while, keep you in the reserves, just to make sure that Hydras isn't taken over. Nice and easy, everything needs orders. Holy balls. Wait, really? I mean, yeah, Lyra does need orders. 
Sure, you can have some extra science generation. Daneb does as well. Science. And Abani does, and I guess I can give you a happiness and see if I can actually make you not mutinous, although it's gonna be difficult since I signed some peace treaties. So it's probably not gonna work, but I might as well stay on my course of trying to make the system not hate itself. So yeah, let's keep it. Let's do that. I'm a beta wants some attention, I suppose. Sure, give me more science. I don't care. Anybody else on that list? Yeah, free more assistance. Holy balls, you guys are needy. Equus. Guess what? You're getting the same treatment as everybody else. No acceptance anywhere. Yes, I know I can min-max those systems, but we're at a point where I don't think it really matters. Alright, there are a bunch of crevices I sent here. I don't remember sending so many crevices here, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Let's get more... get more... Orichalcus. I don't think I have access to Orichalcus yet, so it's kind of useless. But I might as well queue this out, because at some point I might have access to Orichalcus, so you know. There's that. Two more systems, no, one more system, and that's here though. Oh, that's you! I don't care about you either, good. Let's end this turn, and I might as well end this video, because I have sneaking suspicions. It's no log until I win the game, hopefully. And I don't want the next video to be too short, mind you. So, let's keep this in a bit of suspense. Because, keep in mind, the AI might still pull up, you know, some kind of giant trick to win the game. I don't think they will, I'll be entirely honest, but they might, it's a chance. I don't know what this, those banishes exactly entail, also I can declare one the, the Vodian again, I don't really feel like it. Painted bombing again, or blitz? Let's try blitzing. And there's one home system left to conquer. And uh, you guys are desperate for me not to kill you. Um. Let's try to kill them before I'm forced to sign this uh, treaty, and after that, I guess I can end this video. So let's see, can I murder them instantly? I really want to. Yes! Alright! Bye bye, and fallen! <laughs> oh, you want me to sign that you're a truce? Sure, I'll sign it. Too bad you're dead! <laughs> oh, I feel great. This is good. This is really good. You know what? Actually, instead of prolonging this any longer, you know, splitting this into two videos, I can do something better. I can win the game right now. I should have split those ships uh, into separate stacks and turned Auto Explorer on. My bad, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, there, I only am missing one home system from winning the game, like completely and just utterly winning everything. Wait, two? Two? Uh. Huh. No, that should not be the case. I should have everything. That's, I have one, two home systems, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess maybe it didn't update it because I just have conquered Hamal this turn. I suppose this must be what it is. If it's anything else, it's BS. I'm calling it BS. So anyway, what I'm gonna do with you, dear system, I will... Mm, I could assign my eat everything here to Hamau and treat it as another place to make ships to have the system defend itself. Because I don't want this fleet to stay on that system guarding it forever. I want it to move out and kill the enemy home system as quickly as possible. Because I want to finish this playthrough. There's no reason to continue it really. I think I have this in the bag. And I mean nobody's watching it anyway. I mean except for you who is watching right now. I should know your name actually because I might as well call you by name because you're the only person watching this, so yeah, hi there, what's your name? So yeah, anyway, I'm happy you're here, I'm happy you're enjoying yourself. Unless you are not enjoying yourself, in which case, you know what? Be a masochist, uh, I'm not gonna judge you. Be what you wanna be, it's fine. Anyway, where the- oh, don't tell me I took it the wrong turn, that would be most annoying. I don't think I did, but I might have. Anyway, this system, what it needs is... That hero I was talking about. Yeah, let's let's eat it up as quickly as possible and let's have it make an annihilator. That's a good idea. No a new research to be done. Oh, I have to micromanage it. You know what? I'm not gonna micromanage it. I don't really care. What I'm gonna do instead is unlock uh, the Orichalcus uh, mining, I suppose. Or before that, I might win the game when it happens. Before we do that, let's just show you the Far Halo shipyard unlocked with the new uh, carriers, just, you know, for the rule of cool and whatnot. Let's make two annihilators here, and a reaper. Let's make a reaper earlier than that. 
And let's kill whatever is in the system so that it doesn't get instantly attacked. Nice and easy. Do we want to watch this battle? I don't have the time to watch it if I want to finish this video with a victory. So the enemy retreated and there's still something more stuff. So I'm gonna keep this fleet in here for an extra turn. And it and... Oh, for crying out loud. Let me finish this playthrough. Alright, you need stuff. I bunny. I could make another an editor in Albany, but then it would take me 25 million years to actually get to anywhere where there is action, so how about I don't do that? There are more systems that need it. Sagnus and Virak. Sagnus is that thing over there, alright, more science. And actually, no, 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 you can't have minus union expanded thingies. So grab that, I suppose. And Virak, I recognize this name, I had it somewhere. But I don't know where it is. It's over there somewhere. Whatever you are. I don't care, you can have those things and those things, and then it's AI yeah, research, nice and easy. And the 10. And keep looking for that ever always slightly out of reach victory that we are about to get, hopefully. Now keep in mind, as I said, Lumeris, uh, it's ironic because Lumeris are the last ones for me to conquer, and they are also the only ones capable of actually winning the game before I win it now. So that's a problem. And Hidok has been. What? 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 Oh, oh! Oh, no, you didn't! No, you did Okay! Alright! Okay! Alright! Okay, alright. And those guys can do the same thing, can they? Crap! Crap, crap! I hate this technology so much, it's so lame! I wish I could just force Amplitude to change it, make it more interesting, or just cut it out of the game. Seriously, Culture and Vertex, or whatever it's, gonna, it's called, uh, where are the balls? There we go. Cultural Flexibility, you can F off, because nobody likes it, nobody enjoys this technology. It's the stupidest thing ever. It serves no purpose. It's stupid, and it should go. I hate it with all my heart. And you, declare a battle. Murder those bastards. I am not ending this video cast right now. Uh-uh. It ain't happening. I still have water with me, so I'm gonna drink that because I need a drink. A Reaper died. Tough. Sometimes a Reaper has to die. Another fleet is here, so I'm gonna wait one more turn to finish it off. And this lawyer is over. We're about to have an election, whatever. You leveled up. Lovely. Good for you. I care. So much. Can you tell I'm ready to murder people? I'm so ready to murder people. I'm gonna murder a lot of people. Like, the amount of people murdered is going to be measured in galaxies. Yeah, not just in people. I'm gonna measure the amount of people killed in galaxies. That's how many people I'm gonna kill. Alright, so. Let's see. Uh, you. Die. Because that was, that was low what you did. That was really low. GTFO. You get there as quickly as possible. Four tens, that's way too long. Also, someone. Uh, I need to scratch myself. Oh, this. Uh, a mosquito bit me. Can you believe it? That. Oh, that just. That adds insult to injury. I'm legitimately annoyed right now. Alright, let's send in another fleet with even more manpower ready to invade Hido. Well, I'm gonna take that without even stopping to think about it. Alright, let's see you. Uh. Sure, fine. Maybe I'll find a uh, kill all enemies artifact. I don't think there is an artifact like this in the game, but I could be wrong, actually. You know, oh, Costafona, that's my favorite. Alright, and explore, because I don't care. If any system wants my attention, I'm going to show it a middle finger, except I won't because I'm too respectful of everybody, and I never show anybody a middle finger, because it's a stupid gesture, actually. I mean, yeah, I know some people consider it dorky or funny or whatever, I. I mean, when somebody shows it, I don't care about it, but I am not the one who is going to show it to anyone ever, really. Anyway, defend the team, set food on somewhere, I don't care. Those guys are not Cold War. Or whatever. Battle out somewhere... You for real? Sure, have a battle. And you, leveled up. Uh, seriously, what do I give you? This, have this, have an ultimate ability. I guess you care about it. Alright, let's murder the last fo Oh, wow, the enemy keeps sending more and more stuff at me, don't they? Yeah, I can't leave the system, which is my... Oh, wait, I can, because I have an Annihilator ready to guard it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and murder some... A few...
the few fools who are left here and then the Annihilus should be able to handle themselves going forward. So you, yeah, that's it. Guard the system nice and easy. And as for you, dear fleet. Two tests to get to Gemini. Or I can get to Hiddo instantly. Let's get to Hiddo instantly because Gemini, I think, might be handled by this fleet a bit faster. Yeah, literally there's 10, so I can uh, start working on the two home systems at the same time. Now, okay, that's annoying. I use up my declare attack button already on the other fleet to protect my newly conquered home system, which is annoying. How many defenders do you have? Not enough is the answer. Actually, that's quite enough is the answer. Uh, I need to retreat. Go away, I don't care about your notification. That was really a lot of defenders, actually. That's annoying. Alright. Oh yeah, you declare battle. Thank you very much. Can you stop pretending like you're relevant anymore? Yes, yes, church, whatever, I don't care. Upon retreated. They did not retreat, I'm sorry, this does not look like a retreat to me. And actually, you know what? I'm since I'm looking at you anyway. Self mining and POs, there we go. Yeah, you have self mining and POs as well, and you have multiple moon mission, and you have a spin product, and you have a spin product, and you have a car, you have a car. You have a level 3 thingy, because why not? Alright, what else do we have? Abani. No, making a ship there is pointless, it will take too long to get anywhere. You have a lot of things to kill, which is annoying. I kinda wanna sign a treaty with the United Empire, but we never know, they might pull up the same kind of trick on me, like the enemy just did. Which would be annoying, so I just need to clear, actually, instead of clearing everything out, let's make an annihilator here, how long to that is done. Two tens. And the system will be able to fend itself for some time. I'm going to stay there for one more turn. Then I'll fly away and then I'll let the annihilator do the talking and reinforce my stuff. You gained something. I don't really care what you have, I'll be entirely honest with you. More experience, I suppose, is nice. Let's speedrun this. And do you see how fast I'm trying to speedrun this thing? I'm trying my hardest. Uh, yes, 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 I know. Oh yeah, no technology queued up. That's annoying. Um... I guess I can queue up one of the endless technologies, but whatever. Oh, hey! Exiled Beam Focus has not actually been researched, which is strange. I could swear I did research. Oh, yeah, because I was planning to improve my annihilators, because I just meant to show them to you. That's a new annihilator! Cute, isn't it? Let's have it matter even more than before. And then we've got an extra slot, maybe four extra missiles, yeah. We're not going to use this slot, because I don't have the mining uh, stuff for that. And you can have this. And now the ship costs ridiculous amounts of money, but it's also scary good. So there's that, Exavolt Beam Focus, and Research. Yep, I know. I know who wins. Yes, I know, Militarists win. I know. You don't have to tell me that game. We're gonna win this fight. We're gonna win this game, I mean. Fight as well. This game is mostly composed of fighting, so saying we're gonna win this fight makes absolute complete sense. Now I need to... Yes, 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 fight. Uh, fight the Horatia, because I need to invade the system. Yes, go away. Yes, please, let me invade. I really need to invade. That would be lovely if I could invade. Invading is fun. Can you let me do that? No, you cannot. Because you have to be a bastard and keep a prowler here that's preventing me from invading. It's really annoying. Oh, hi there, annoying bastards. You also need uh, some sense to be talked into you. What are you rocking? Long range? Well, guess what? I'm gonna go close range and you're gonna die. And now you're just gonna retreat. Smart move, smart choice, good choice. All of those things together. You are really slow, I hate you. You keep killing. Actually, I have a lot of influence now, don't I? So let's go ahead and use Spot of War Act, nice and easy. Because I am actually killing a lot of people. Like I promised I would, mind you. I don't care what, uh, take, what battle cards I'm using anymore either. They're all gonna be fine. How are you doing? How many tanks the enemy has? Very few. Can I improve my tanks? Yes, I... Wait, I'm thick of one shot, aren't I? I don't remember... Yes, I'm one shot. That's fine. That's fixable. As you can see, the AI is giving my economy quite a bit of a boost. But I just need one, to buy one thing. Improve my tanks even... F Where the balls am I going? I'm just going all over the place because I'm so annoyed that the enemy, like, bought back their home system for free, essentially. And now my tanks should be much better. Can I take the system over? Mm. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's retreat again. I weakened it, at least. 
but I did not weaken it enough. You reached a new level. Oh, cool, good for you. I care. Refuel the rate of fleet. Well, that's not gonna be very useful since you're so far away from everything. I keep saying that I don't need to make uh, annihilators over here in this section of the galaxy because I won't be able to use them, but I'm, what if I'm wrong? Well, let's start by making... Well, I guess the Reapers will be all I'm making here. Not good enough. Let's kill that idea. And just just try to be patient. I didn't move my fleets accordingly, which is annoying because I could have declared a battle over here at Hidel. But that's okay. I am besieging it, actually, which is good. It's draining the enemy's uh, strength. And I might have what it takes to just take it over and get it. I think I will be able to do just that. And then I need to just fly over... To the other place, uh, somebody has been taken over, some minor faction, that doesn't matter. Prowler attacked me, which is nice, saves me some thing to do. Some lots of systems captured, and Unfallen are dead. Lovely, I like to see that happen. Uh, let's see, I cannot invade the system, which is mildly annoying. But I can declare a lot of attacks. So, first of all, let's declare the attack of the hero that is a slow hero. And do they have any cool ships? Not really. They have some ships, but not really anything uh, that's particularly scary. And I'm sorry, we don't have the time to watch this, so let's just balance our ships and fleets uh, to the best of their ability. And uh, what are they rocking? They're rocking long range stuff, so let's be close range turtle, and this should be fine. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have all day or night in my case, actually. Mm. They actually, you know, they put a pretty worthy effort. They're gonna get some dust for it. Gun on them, let's finish the enemy off with the other fleet that doesn't have to move this turn. Nice and easy. And you need to... Ooh, they are actually using beams here as well. And lasers, and actually just a mix of everything. Barrage fire, I suppose, is what is on the menu now. So let's go ahead and use that. Hopefully this will murder the enemy. Nope, but it did make them run away, which is good enough. And then let's invade the system. Nice and easy, blitz it. I want it back, it's now mine. Good. And you, dear hero, you get to Gemini ASAP because we need to reinforce there. And the hero can improve everything it has. Distributed networks, why not? You might as well have that. And a hero leveled up. You have a lot of level ups. Holy balls. All right, you can, have, you can have them, I suppose. Nothing really is all that important, I suppose. Shield absorption, extra damage, and uh, hope plating absorption. That's nice. Health regeneration, next to that. Oh, wait, that's uh, not enough stuff. Hmm. I guess get one of that. More damage and more hole absorption. And we have one last skill point left. And I guess uh, that's what we're gonna split it on. I don't really care about regeneration or that much. I already regenerate more than enough because the enemy cannot do any damage to me. Hydra's and you know what? Ah, fine, I'll queue up some more stuff. Mega Risk Containment. I have some way to use it as balls, and then I will be able to make wonders, which is going to be funny. And you make uh, level 3 modernization, because so why not, I suppose. Alright, uh, now that the thing is guarding this uh, place, I can send this fleet to... I don't know where to. Actually, I'm gonna keep it here, just in case I need to retake battle. So there's that, and another system, Hamao. You can just give me more science. You know what, I definitely could have gone for the science victory, but as I said, I don't want to. So there's that done, I've been queued up. Nice, let's keep going. Mush mush. Gemini! Hopefully it will fall this turn, because with the extra reinforcements I have flood again, I should be able to do that. And then we're gonna watch the ultra cinematic, it's gonna be all lovely. You're gonna have a tear in your eye, and uh, something, something, something. Competitive quest final status, find it keepers, my hero has fully recovered, lovely. And I will be honest, I forgot I have forgotten about my over, over overlord, but that's okay. Let's invade this oh for crying out loud. Stop me from invading. Why do you no stop stop stopping me from invading you? That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, we're not gonna watch this battle. I'm done. I want you dead. I was ready to have you dead for some time now. Let's have you dead. Let's finish this. Blitz this, and is it me? Yes, it's mine. All systems are mine. Let's just keep them mine for one turn. Bam. I have to get a new hero. Hey, Kogo's Apog uh, Apogee, Apogee, or whatever. That's the new version of a Craver. That's the fancy Craver. That's the awesome Craver. 
Let's have him because it's fancy. As I said, we're not gonna assign him though. Yes, I know. We're gonna end this turn and it should give us the victory this turn. Or the next turn. This turn. Great. That's what I wanted. Yes! Oh, it's satisfied. Good. Huh. Let's go to the skull screen, shall we? And we should, in theory, see... There we go. Five survives. Yes, it does. Multiplying. Evolving. Frame rate is really bad, though. There are no gods or creators to slow or sidetrack us. Wait, there are! I'll let the end. Let's live. Unless he was referencing the last. But yeah, either way, I like to think that I'm still, you know, a slave to the Endless. And there we go! Through sheer force of will and relentless aggression, the supremacy of the Kravis is uncontested across the galaxy. Your opponents are now just a threat for you to save her later. Treat! Not a threat. Treat. So yeah, that's awesome. I could have done this way better, but at the end, as you saw, there was no reason to really do anything. I can replay a cutscene, we don't have to do that. And yeah, you can check out the stats of everybody, and that's uh, what happened. Everybody has been defeated, I'm the last man standing. Approval, yeah, mm, that's when the patch rolled in. We can actually, let's have a quick look at all the stats, shall we? So when the patch rolled in, military wasn't really affected, maybe slightly actually, but I don't think that's it, I think I just made some stuff. Heroes obviously were not affected, expansion again was not. Approval, we saw how badly it was affected, but trade... Trade also was not, later on I just made it better. Research, ouch, yeah, that's the approval drop. Population later started dipping when I ate all my plants. Influence, not really a change, science, nope. That's nope. Industry, nope. Food, yeah, that's meeting plants. And overall score, that's probably where the patch rolled in again. Alrighty then, back to menu. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. It was a treat, even though, again, they're just... I think there might be like three of you now, because final videos always have more views than other videos, except for the first video in the series. Anyway, I'm glad I recorded this video, and that it's the end of the series, because now I have a good excuse to have a break from recording, because like I said, I will not be able to record much for a while now. Not very long, it's not gonna be a month or anything, don't worry about that. But uh, it's not like you are now left with a cliffhanger or anything. So again, thank you very much for watching. If you have any wishes for the upcoming factions to cover, let me know. I might make like a channel update asking what you wanna see, but or I might just think about what I want to record, you know, out of my own volition. I'll think about it. I know that last time I made the pool, Riftborn were very popular. I might record them. I might record Vodini. I might record Endless Legend. I might record Heroes of Modern Magic 3. You never know. Honestly, I don't know right now either. I'm still thinking about things. I kind of want to record multiplayer sessions, but there are some problems with multiplayer still, particularly watching battles happen. They just don't process fast enough. In fact, they can take hours to process sometimes. There is some kind of bug related to that. I don't know what it is. And this will not do, obviously, for, you know, multiplayer series being recorded. But I'm I'm thinking, if you have any ideas on what you want to see on this channel, let me know, because I could use some existing ideas. Either way, I want to record, because it's fun. For now, I'm taking a short break, not a month long, I promise. And I'll see you online. And thank you for watching.